Good evening, everyone. There is a saying in football that if you can play, the NFL will find you. And it means that if an athlete is talented, scouts are trained to recognize those skills, regardless of the package they come in or the address they occupy. And in tonight's case, that doesn't just apply to athletes. Richmond football head coach Russ Huseman has been around the game most of his life. A big part of his job is finding players that will fit into his football program, and he can usually spot them right away. Some pretty quickly, some you know, a little bit later. There are some that, that, uh, that you see pretty quickly that, that just jump out on the film and you say, yeah, no Niall Harris is a redshirt freshman defensive back on the Spiders team. He was all conference in both football and track in high school in Greensboro, North Carolina. Richmond was one of five schools that offered him a scholarship, but it was the one that just felt right. We knew he was a solid kid. Now he's gotten better and better as he's gone here, so we think he's going to be a real good player for us. I wasn't the biggest kid. Um, I didn't have like a whole bunch of D1 offers coming out of high school just because of my size, but I made up for, for my size with uh, work ethic. And at a place like Richmond, that work ethic gets a workout. Harris played five different sports growing up, but he also played eight different instruments. The cello became one of his favorites. And in addition to his football duties, he also plays with the university orchestra. And first he said, I'm a football player. And, and I saw that's a, you know, a sports guy. And then he sits down and he plays cello. It was just, I, could, I said, I have to have this kid in the orchestra. And, it's been just amazing. You or I might never see a correlation between classical music and a nickel defense, but Harris has developed skills that help him whether he's tackling Albany or Vivaldi. As a orchestra ensemble, you really have to trust your stand partner. You have, to, you have to trust who's in front of you and as well as who's behind you. So I think that aspect translates to the field a lot. Whether it's having the right bowing, um, having the right finger patterns, and also on the football field, you know, knowing where to be, whether, you, whether it's your alignment before the play or knowing your assignment. So I think like paying attention to details is like one of the biggest things that coincide with the two. But his two worlds don't always align properly, and managing his time between music and football can sometimes involve sacrifices for one or the other. He's going to go and, and have a concert where he's going to miss a, a, a position meeting, uh, you know, the, the day before a game. You know, that's never fun for us as coaches, but you understand that it's important to him, it's important to our university that he does those things. School, sports, football, play music, play orchestra, play chamber music. I tell them sometimes, you know, I don't, how do you guys do this? Harris played for his teammates during the freshman talent show last year. Most everyone was impressed, even if it wasn't something they'd choose to listen to on their own. What's he, classical music? Yeah, I'm probably not gonna go listen to him. I hate to say it. If he was playing country, I'd be at all his concerts. I wanted to know about this game. I know soccer, what we call in Europe football, that's our football. I'm trying and I want to understand them. It's just not uploaded in my system yet. Critics aside, Harris has already been something of a mentor to younger athletes and musicians find themselves in the same dichotomy. I just have like so much respect for people, you know, who aren't just on one track. I would tell them just to keep doing what they're doing, you know, don't worry about what anybody thinks of what you're doing, what you're doing or whether it's geeky or nerdy or whatnot. It's okay to just do what you love, you know what I'm saying? Harris's favorite composer is Tchaikovsky, but he doesn't really have a favorite NFL player. Like, conversely, if he had to choose a career between music and football, he'd choose football. But he's a healthcare studies major and would really like to go into medicine after his football playing days are over.